So here are the inks I just purchased off of eBay. These are expired inks. I've not had any problems with using expired inks. These are from uh, 2012, 08, 2012. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm not sure when this one is. It really matters. Oh, to, uh, 20, actually 19 expired. That's a newer one, but and this is 20. This last one's uh, 2012. Uh, Syringes, 30 millimeter, just syringes you can get on eBay as well, probably or Amazon or something like that. Uh, these carts came with this funnel, uh, but you don't really need it. You just can just use the syringes, open up the uh, nozzle here, and then uh, put them in. So I have these three to do. It's good just to use, make sure you buy like eight of these minimum. Uh, well, I guess, well, it depends on how you use your ink. You could probably get away with with four or five, but you don't want them wet. You want them totally dry. Uh, you don't want to go rinse one and use another ink. You just want to keep, you know, them uh, dry as possible when you're, you're refilling the inks. Okay, uh, so let's get to that part. Well, I'm just going to do the, the matte black first. Uh, I've already used this one a little bit, but I know there's still ink in here. Um, when you get these, you're really going to want to just, I don't know, shake them for like 20 minutes or something. And like really give them a good, a, a good shake because if they've been sitting since 2012, it's possible that the particles have, uh, the pigments have settled. So I've already given all these a shake. It's kind of boring <laughs> to watch me shaking these, but... Uh, so just make sure that the, the, well, there's a bag inside these that, uh, it's been shaken really well. Um, you can see here when I've opened this, this plastic bag, I've sealed it up with a piece of tape as well to keep, uh, no air in it. So I can open it up again. Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, if you want to put gloves on, that's fine. I've never really bothered. So just take the tip of this, make sure the plunger's down, and just, I don't know if that's in focus or not, but just place it in there. Make sure it's pushed right down and in. And then you can just suck it out. Sometimes to break the seal it's you have to move it around a little bit but usually there I got the right spot. I'm just gonna hold it upside down. Here we go. Oh, there. Okay see over here I was sort of pulling and it was not not wanting to budge because it was sort of sealed still. But now I got it at the right spot. And I've been marking on the boxes how much I've been using um, every time. So this is 30 milliliters, so I just got to remember. So just take this out slowly. So I have 30 milliliters here. And I'm going to just go open the, the valve on this pop it open and then take the ink and place it in. Oops. Try to drop the syringe because it is a little bit dirty on the end. And then just so that's 30. Sixty, and actually, they're two hundred and twenty. And by counting these things, actually, you do get the two hundred and twenty out. <laughs> so it's you're not really wasting any ink doing this. It's not like there's a lot stuck left in the bag after. All right, so that's sixty. It's feeling pretty light now, so I'll probably just try to get the rest out. 
There's no point of keeping this with just like, you know, 70 or 80 milliliters in there. Might as well take it all out. So this is the same procedure for all of them. So that's 90. I usually do half at a time, so there's probably another 10 or 20 left in there. Yeah. Almost at the end. So almost at 10. You can kind of break the seal a little bit. Yeah, we're at 10. Past 10. You won't pull, pull too hard and slide it all the way out and have ink everywhere, so, but that's pretty much it. So I'm at 15. So that's 100. I'm almost at 20 here. So there's 20. So that's about it. I usually do it in two. So that's 110 per per time for these two 20s. Yeah. You know, that would be crazy if there's a milliliter or two left in there. Okay, so that's 20. So 30, 60, 90, and 20 is 110. Now you can wipe the top of this uh, with a, a paper towel or something. Uh, but what I'm more concerned about is actually going and uh, washing these in hot water and soap right away. Because I really don't, it just makes it easier instead of letting this dry on there, uh, the ink. Um, and then the procedure is basically the same for the rest. Just just go along and do the other, um, the other cartridges. Just make sure that you double check since there's two cyans and two magentas that you're really putting the real, this is vivid light magenta, make sure it goes in the vivid light magenta. I know it's silly, but <laughs> you're gonna be hovering over one of these and I'm about to put the wrong ink in. Uh, so double check, triple check before sticking, before doing the syringe into the, you know, the light magenta into the real magenta. So just take it slow and uh, you know, you don't even need gloves. I don't have any ink on me at all. I'll probably get more ink cleaning up than uh, actually doing the job. So when I'm not using uh, these refillable carts, there's actually a little air hole here. Uh, you can see. And uh, I just use some uh, blue tack, you know, sticky tack for posters and stuff like that. And I cover up the hole uh, with that. So when I'm you know, not using it for a few days or something like that. I just cover these up. And then when I'm ready to use it again, I just uh, just make sure to undo them. Otherwise, it's not getting the, the air through to, uh, to help with the printing. I just find these things a little fiddly sometimes. So uh, this just seems to be a quicker method for me uh, than trying to stick these things in and taking them out. And they're eventually going to break anyway, I'm sure. So um, just you know, one less thing to worry about. So hope you find that helpful. Um, yeah, and uh, it's really easy. And these carts you can buy on eBay, these refillable carts are really cheap. And I've been using them for like five years and I've never had to replace them. There's, I've done the chip a few times. There's actually a little chip uh, resetter that you can use. And I've had a couple chips go bad, but basically I just take the chip off of one of these carts because it's the exact same chip you can cut those out and just pop them right in those little blue, those little green chips they're the same that are on the back of the carts and then you can reset those and keep going so it's a good idea to keep the carts um, well you don't really need the cart but keep the chips because <laughs> you, you can buy these on eBay too separately but you know you have a whole bunch of them here already so keep the chips you can use the resetter and uh, and keep going well, you don't even need the resetter with these ones because they're new. You can just pop them out and stick them in when one of these goes uh, bad. So there you go. That's um, refilling. Uh, keeping it clean, that's another, would be another video, like keeping uh, the nozzles uh, uh, clear and all that. But um, 
It's not that bad. You see I have some Windex here. It does happen. And I don't use it very frequently. But uh, it takes, if you don't use it for a few weeks or a month, you, you're spending a good hour cleaning it before you can uh, a print a, a decent print with it. So best thing is to keep it running. Uh, I used to do it, used to print uh, stuff every day. Um, but it was just, you know, I find it easier just to clean it once a month and, and just keep going instead of having this thing print out every day. I know you're supposed to keep it running, but honestly, the, the way I do it, it's just easier to clean it and then print when you need it. Um, so thanks for watching and hope that helps you.